hunt. Jose? Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to His name was Gregory. A horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. Oh, I have to remove the saddle? Oh. Let's get this off, you boy. What's taking so long with this saddle? Oh, okay. I see. Come on, I promise you don't want to ride that one bareback. You. Sorry. Pause. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I no promises, brother. I'm so obsessed with this game. I thought it said to hey, hitch it. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. I'm never shaving his face, dude. Bearded Arthur is so fire. Sell or stable the horse? Don't I have to buy a new horse, though? Sell. Bye-bye. Look at this little guy. He's 15 bucks. That's literally all I'm going to be able to get, dude. <laughs> dude, look at this. Look at this freaking horse, bro. I guess I just got to get him, huh? <gasps> Y'all suck. Y'all are no fun. His name will be Gregory. Then read it and weep. Look at this little thing. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to ride this right, miniature brother. horse for the rest of the the deal. playthrough. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't Gregory is mine now. Other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fellow well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay. Well, with some good care, you wait, should wait, 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 no. Of it. Come back. What are you doing? Idiot. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Should have moved. We got quite a ride ahead Waste of us. Lead the way. This so watch all. this lake we're heading for. It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. Look how little he is. And we're doing the chasing. How <laughs> are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. But who are they talking Running about? Off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. 
He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Are they talking about John? I missed it. I wouldn't. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. They're talking about John. I figured they were. I, I've noticed that there's some tension between Arthur and John. It's so beautiful. Okay. I think we need to head right up here. Yes. I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Side. Oh, sorry, boy. There we go. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'm trying right, to I remember that. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Here we go. And obliterated We're hunting rabbits. Can I do that? There we go. They went all the way down there. Yeah. How about that shot? How about it, chat? Got him. That's a big rabbit, dude. Holy shit. Well, I've finished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> Plain game. That quick? That is not done. Uh, <clears throat> morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, uh, give me a minute. Coffee? Calm down, Hosea. Sure. There you go. Morning people are so annoying. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. You. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. This is so, like... There's so many layers to this, man. There's so much to do in this game and learn. Arthur, I was virtually Am I smart enough for this? Day. I don't know. I might be too stupid. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Gregory. Let's go, boy. Boy. Down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? 
Well, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Jose is going to anyway, die. Now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Is this going to be like a jump scare? I feel like this bear is just going to come out of nowhere. Here we go. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. Let's go. I bet. Bracking a bear. Roll tide, brother. Ah. Wait a minute. There's something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. I say it. Something else on the ground, just here. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Where'd the trail go? Looks like the trail ends here. Ah. Uh. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? I'm using bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead. I'm too scared like to split up. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> now we wait. I'm in that. Man, that's a little close, Jose. Don't you think? A thousand pounds, you say? Morning. That's what I'm saying, Arthur. Big scar down his face. Oh, dude, I forgot. All I have is my revolver. I forgot to get my uh rifle. That's not good. That's not good at all. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Jose, I don't know sure. that's a good idea. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Jump scare. We had here. Got your knife? Yep. Shit. Oh my oh, he ugly too. Easy. No, it's too close. Oh, oh. Huh? 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 You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <sighs> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. 
You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's not story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... Oh, I'm getting him. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. Can I like uh? So can I track it or? Hold on. I need to uh get my rifle out, brother. There we go. Let's see what we got. Don't seem close. Did he sh bro shit himself on the way out or? I see you. Adrenaline, bro. <laughs> the adrenaline. Scan him. Yummy. Got us a bear, Jack. Dang. Where my horse at? Come on, Gregory. Yep. Yep. That music has no business being that immersive. Oh, come on, dude. Why? 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 You're so welcome, homie. You are so welcome. Oops. Thank you. I know telling what could have happened. Thank you. Where you at? Where you go? Uh. Oh wait, no, Arthur. <laughs> you need a ride, brother? What, what? What's the deal? Are you good? What's wrong with you? What do you mean? What do you mean? What? I'm about to. Just go yeah. Right. What I thought. There, boy. You're gonna be a dick. I just saved your life. Go, Gregory. Go. You got more than that. You all right, boy? There we go. There he is. Hello. New face there. Okay, let's take a look at it. All right. So what? Don't notice. Yo! I have to have it. I know it's $40. I'm getting it. I don't care. Let's go! <laughs> I'm so lit. This might be the greatest game ever made, guys. Did I experience two, maybe even three of the greatest video games ever made back to back to back? Elden Ring... 
The Last of Us Part 2, and now this. And you can't forget uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. That too. Ride, Gregory. Ride, boy. Dude, what's crazy about this game is there's just so much detail in everything. They, like, Rockstar did so much to make you feel like this is a real world. The events that just happen in real time, like random stuff, it feels so real. It's so cool. Y'all like my hat? Somebody better comment on my hat. Pearson, do you like my hat? All good there, Pearson? Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should try your luck again. Why don't you take bow? your fat ass out there and oh, no. try your luck oh, again no. with that bow? Sorry, that was uncalled for. What's old dude got Help going me. on? Speak to them for me. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. Bro, it's six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> Arthur. I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh, shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah, oh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Geld, what's that? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was a Yo. happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, no, you're kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come Man, on. you cannot. It, it is impossible to not look badass wearing a freaking bear head, dude. Let's <laughs> both hope you ain't trying to trick us, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Look how small my horse is. <laughs> we got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. <laughs> you taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. All righty. Good boy. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Morgan, you didn't tell me what the old Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because <laughs> you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted, granted. 
I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends. If I can. You don't know the half. I do know Combe killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, the... Uh... Making excuses for the man. And his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? I ain't. I'm trying to help. Honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first O'Driscoll will shoot. Uh, and quit breathing on my neck. That is a beefy horse right there, dude. My now lord. We go left, uh, road will take us up and, round. and that's Bill right there, right? That dude? Yeah. I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh, you've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. That's a brave I boy. I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Isaiah! A sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Easy, Bill. I want that. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Good one, boy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching. Where them knives at? Every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. Ah, oh, whatever. Suicide. I don't need him. You'll die, boy. But you lose your balls. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellers armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, nothing for the pot. Let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, It'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. Oh, I'm in there. I'm in there. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Oh, I got him. Got he was there. He was there. With Man, y'all are y'all better lock in John and Bill. Y'all supposed to drop him as soon as I uh he better be. But drop the other one. I can't knife kill. Alright. Trying to see if there's any more in the outskirts. I see an outskirt over there. Yep. Ah. I'm in there. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, guys, guys. Let's, let's talk about it. How do I do the dead eye thing again? We got him. Close in. Come at me, you Irish. 
Oh, so they're Irish? How do I do the dead eye thing? Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. Yep. I'll check. Oh. oh shit. That was old dude, wasn't it? That was old dude, wasn't it? You all right? Wow. Thank you. Come on, Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. <laughs> Come on, let's get to camp. So Why do I feel like I'm going to like it? that guy? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> Right, you are. Karen. At least you got something. Dick's Hundo. That money. Thirteen dollars. Where my horse? Come here, boy. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. What? Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Okay. So Dutch has something. I want to go see what that letter is at the tent. Dude, they give you so much to do. It's insane. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Who I'm about to dive in. I bet she sound bad.